Hey everybody, Kylie Cologne, premiere for Team Forever Posh, and I wanted to talk to you today about five tips for using social media to benefit your business. So the first tip that I have for you is that you want to make sure that you're posting quality stuff. You don't want to just post some crazy looking stuff. You want to make sure that the images you're posting are quality, they're good quality. Um, they are either pictures that you have taken or they're pictures that um, are produced by our home office, but that they're good quality pictures. You don't want anything that's blurry or um, something that you cannot read because the text isn't visible or whatever you know the case may be. So you wanna make sure that your images are quality. The same thing goes for any videos or blogs or any text that you put on um, your Facebook fan page or your Facebook page, whatever form of social media that you're using, whether it's Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, um, you just wanna make sure that whatever content you're sharing is quality content. You also wanna make sure that um, you're posting things other than just your business stuff. Um, whenever you talk just about your business all the time and nothing else, you're not gonna engage those people very much. So you wanna be sure that you're um, telling stories about something that your family did over the weekend or um, sharing a post that maybe doesn't have anything to do with your business, um, but it would engage your audience, something that your audience may, may like. So uh, make sure that you're sharing other things besides just stuff about your business, quotes, um, funny stories, um, any anything that's gonna engage your audience. The second tip I have for you is um, to know when to post and to, again, engage your followers. So knowing when to post on Facebook, um, on your business like page, there's a really cool tool that they have and it's called Insights. And if you look at the insights, it'll tell you based on your posts um, and on your followers activity, what times of day um, people are more likely to see your posts. So you wanna look at that insights section on your Facebook fan page and take a peek at that and be posting during those, those peak hours. Um, you also want to make sure that you have a quick response time. If somebody comments on a post on either Facebook or Instagram, whatever. Make sure you respond to them quickly. Make sure you interact with them. Um, don't let them hang out for like two days and then get back to them because they're gonna move on to another consultant by that point. So make sure you're paying attention to your notifications and make sure that you respond to them quickly. Um, my third tip is to be supportive. Don't just be all about you. You wanna be supportive of other business owners, other small businesses, other direct sales companies. So follow those people, um, engage with them, share content from their pages with your page. Um, if there's a product that you just absolutely love that you use from another direct sales company, share it to your page and engage that way. Um, and you know, if, especially if that other direct sales company rep is a customer of yours, of course you wanna help benefit her business as well. So you wanna be supportive of her business because she's supportive of your business. So if you can help her out, do so. Um, my fourth tip is to promote any social media contest, whether that is a home office run contest or one that you've come up with yourself, maybe that you're just doing for your VIPers on a private group. Make sure you're promoting those um, on your social media um, avenues so that way you'll get more followers. Um, people are more likely to engage with you if there's something in it for them. So you want to be sure that anytime you're doing a contest or a giveaway or something special for your VIPs, you're advertising that on your social media, whether it's Facebook or Instagram, Twitter, Hi. YouTube. Yes, ma'am. Um, you want to make sure that you are advertising those contests. And my fifth tip is probably one of the most important tips for any small business owner, and that is to brand yourself. You want to come up with a name for yourself. Um, I am today wearing Trisha's company, Posh It Out. Everybody knows that Trisha Lewis is the platinum premiere of Team Posh It Out. And so that is her brand. Trisha has branded herself with the logo, Posh It Out, a guitar, because she likes to rock it out on the team sales. 
Um, so that is Trisha's brand. Um, she always uses her hashtag, um, Posh It Out. And um, anytime she's on social media, she's tagging that hashtag, tagging Team Posh It Out. Come up with hashtags and handles that are specific to you to help you grow your business. Um, include it on your daily posts so that people are um, more likely to be better engaged with you. I have a chocolate monster over here. Um, and they're more likely to follow and support your brand. The more that you brand yourself, the more that you can be seen and heard. So you want to make sure that you are always, always, always representing your brand and even the name you've created for yourself. So those are my five tips for social media. If you guys have any questions, drop them down below and I'll be happy to answer them. Bye.